Hello and welcome to English at University, the series that brings you the English words and phrases you need to help you through your first year at university. We're going to follow new student Mary, who's about to begin her first year of study abroad at the University of Studies. That's the UK's 32nd best university. She's been offered a place to study for a degree in business. It's a great opportunity for her, but her mum and dad are sad to see her go. And she's flying to London today. London in the UK. Yes, she's done very well. I'm so proud of her. But, but I'm worried she's not going to eat properly and she might get in with the wrong crowd. And uh, Your mother is so emotional. It's the opportunity of a lifetime for you, Mary. Make the most of it. Forget about us. We'll be fine. Forget about who? <laughs> now, have you packed everything? Uh, clothes? Books? A toothbrush? Sorry about that. That was your grandma on the phone. She says good luck and send her a postcard from Paris. I think she meant London. She also said don't do anything I wouldn't do. What? It's a joke. She learned it from her English friends. It means have a good time and don't get into trouble. Now have you packed everything? Passport, student visa, your acceptance letter from the university and your new laptop. You can use that to video time us. Good idea. Uh, very sensible. Have you got your credit card and cash? Yes, Dad. Ah, that sounds like your taxi. Well, bye-bye, darling. Safe journey. Have a good trip and keep in touch. I'll call as soon as I land in Paris. I mean London. It can be scary leaving home for the first time. But Mary seems quite cool and calm about it, even though her mum's getting a bit mushy. She's getting quite sad and emotional. While Mary says her final goodbyes, let's go over the words of encouragement you can give to someone who's leaving home for the first time. I'm proud of you. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Make the most of it. Safe journey. Keep in touch. To practice these phrases and learn some more like this, visit us at bbclearningenglish.com. Now, back to Mary. And her dad's looking a bit tearful. He's a big softy, really. That means he gets emotional very easily. Uh, Dad, are you OK? Bye, Mary. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Bye, Mary! Bye! Oh, no, look! She's left her good luck teddy bear behind. Come on, Dad, you'll be fine. So, Mary is off to the UK to study. In the coming weeks, you'll hear how she gets on, dealing with university life, studying, and eventually taking her exams. And I'll be here with some English words and phrases to help her on her way. So join me again soon for English at University. Bye.